Hey, how you doing? Um, I thought I'd do another video with some examples on uh, to follow on from my last video about the claw grip. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, um, you don't know what the claw grip is um, or how I like to set it up, then uh, just have a quick look. Um, it's just me rambling on about it, but um, it should give you an idea uh, and make then make this video uh, make sense, hopefully. Um, anyway, we'd left off where we were clawing all the strings together, trying to get them all at the same time, um, not allowing it to all come out at different times. Um, we were locking that in with our foot tapping. I've got my um, Chicken Bone John um, stomper here, but put anything down, a book, a bit of wood, you don't even, you know, if you tap on a hard floor or something, but start getting used to tapping while you're playing because, um, it, yeah, it, it creates a nice groove and it's great for, um, for solo styles. So anyway, we're going to tap down four. One, two, three, four, and then claw, just with that tap. So to get beyond that, we want to start clawing um, eighth notes or um, quavers, and you can count those uh, as one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So if we just try and claw that now, that's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and so on. Now the trick is is to tap. Only four with your foot. One, two, three, four, and play quavers over the top of it. And what might happen, might not, but it might, is your foot wants to do what your hand's doing, which you don't want to do if you can help it. Just try concentrate on thinking. One, two, three, four, then. One and two and three and four. And if you need to slow it down, do it. comfortable with that, you can do it in front of the TV, anything, you don't even need to be plugged in, or in tune for that matter. I'm in G today by the way, just so you know. That's G, D, G. Anyway, when you get comfortable with this, take it somewhere until your hand gets tense, and just hold it there. Wherever that is, it doesn't matter. Whether it's there, or a bit faster. So that's clawing eighth notes, but adding a little and in between each, each of the beats. One and two and three and four and. So now we can start breaking up the claw. Now you got used to hitting them all together. We'll start uh, coming up with some combinations. We're going to still think about quavers one and two and three and four and because um, it, it, it's a very full rhythm and it, I'm hoping that it's going to build up dexterity in, in your hands and get your fingers moving nicely. So, what we're going to do, with our foot stomp, we're going to hit with our thumb and our, what's that, my second, sorry, third finger. You know, I don't like to use this, this finger. If you watch the, the other video, you'll see. Um, so we're going to hit those, the third string and the first string, on beats one, two, three, Four. So we're leaving this second string out of the claw. And that's exactly what our foot's doing. So let's just get used to that. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to fill in the and with our first finger on the second string. So now, if I get a good angle here, that's better. One and two and three and four and so let's try and stomp that so we'll get our foot going one two three four and we'll just start with these two don't worry about the and we'll place the and in one and two and three and four and just like the last one when you're comfortable pick it up a bit Tensing up and leave it there 
hands so that it's comfortable. When you're clawing, you don't need to um, pull your hand a mile away from the strings. It's, it's more about what your fingers are doing. You can get lots of power with just your fingers. Or look, good dynamics. Um, you don't need to, to get a loud sound. You can get that right, keeping your hand still right in with the body. So we've got two examples there. We've got clawing all together and now we've broken it up. The uh, third string and the first string together with our and being placed in with our second string. So we could practice that back to back. So if we think all together, one and two and three and four, and then the next one, one and two and three, and back to the original. playing. One, two, three, four, one, and so on. And then our fingers on the second and the first string is going to play the ands. So we would have one and two and three and four and. I was getting close so you can see that quickly. One and two. Like this one, this is um, great when you get this one moving around some chords. So, quickly, we'll tap that one out. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. Again, take it somewhere. and then again practice them back to back. So try number one, clawing them all together, number two, clawing our third and first with uh, our first finger coming in and playing the hands, and then number three with our thumb and our fingers. So we'll go, we'll do it really nice and slow this time. We'll go one, two, three, four. One and two. opening this claw grip up for you. Um, next lesson we're going to start getting some musical examples in so we'll start adding this hand, some slide, uh, some slide stuff and uh, making it all a bit more musical. But um, this should set up good groove and good rhythm um, and uh, yeah I hope you have, uh, you have some fun getting that down. Cheers, see you next time, bye.